So let us install um, Rentad on your local computer. If you are using Linux, use the Linux guideline. If you're using Windows, please go to the Windows uh, page here. Okay, and if you're using Mac, go to the Mac guideline, which is where I am because I'm using Mac. Please, if you're confused on how I got here, look, once you come to this uh, cr.tech slash rent, you click on this setup guide, it takes you to this particular setup guide, and then you can follow along with me if you're using Mac OS, or if you're using Windows, please follow the Windows instruction. All right, that is it. So let's follow the uh, um, the Mac OS guideline here so that it can we can move forward, okay? So once you come to this Mac, Mac OS guideline, you scroll down, make sure that you open your terminal. That is what they're instructing you. My terminal is open already. And you need to have Homebrew installed, you know, before you can run this command, all right? So you have to have Homebrew installed, you know, on your computer. And if you understand, you can also, um, get along into the discord channel and they can provide you with information on how you can install this in case you're not it's not working out the way you're expecting it if you have any issue you can always come to the sa you know discord channel i'm going to drop a link to this discord channel which you can drop as which you can you know click as well to join and you know uh, get tech support in case you need it all right so they have binary, they also have all this, and you can utilize this desktop one. I think I'm gonna come back to this afterward in case the first step that I gave to you did not work out, all right? So we'll have abundant information to get us to install Rentad now. So now coming here, I have this Rentad, so I just need to copy this line of code if you have Homebrew installed. This is specific for Mac users only. Windows users, you're not gonna need Homebrew. There's another provision for you. And I think if you come here, you will see that you can basically install both the Zen test net or the main net, you know, any one that you want. And you can use PowerShell to run that. Look at the instruction that is available for that. So Windows users, please take note there. All right, so I'm going back to the Mac. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna copy the instruction for running the rent hat, the main net, by the way, why I'm doing all these things is because I just want to have you understand how you can run it on your own personal computer. But in this tutorial, we're going to be using a Docker environment. So it's going to be quite universal for everyone. So if, so long as you have Docker installed, this is going to be very easy for you. All right. So I'm going to come to this terminal and I will first run rented version. You see, I don't have any rental installed. You know, you need to have homebrew. So you say brew version or dash dash version. Okay, you can see I have homebrew installed already. Please, if you don't have homebrew, get it installed on your Mac. Okay. And after you have it installed, we need this step because we need to be able to generate pass freeze. Okay. We use that passphrase in the installation process when we're working with uh, with Docker. So this process is quite important. So I'm going to paste this line of code. Say brew uh, install CR foundation slash rent. You know rented slash rented. Understand and run that. And it's telling me this auto updating. I could just use Control C to end that auto update. So this terminal is trying to access my desktop folder. I'm going to allow it. And terminal will also like to access my document folder. Allow it and download. So I've allowed it. So these things are downloading. So we're going to wait for them. So installation is done. You can see here. Uh, I think if I run rented version. Okay, you can see that. Let me clean up this and run that again. You can see that I have rented installed the mainnet and the commit history because this is being pulled from GitHub. All right, so you can see this. We are here. And this is configuration, okay? And this configuration is precisely, you know, for, 
for you to run rain tag. Okay, and for this configuration, we're going to work on it later because we're going to be using Docker, like I said. So we don't need to run this, okay? Just you follow me. We'll generate a a 12 phrase um, seed. I think if you run this command rentad, you know, seed, you can see that you'll be able to generate a seed phrase. So this is a seed phrase that corresponds to this account. So we'll use that later on when we're setting up our rentad on a Docker environment. So I just wanted to show you, you know, um, how to install Docker on your local machine, all right? So a second reason why we're not gonna be running this installation here is because this is not, um, this is the main net, you understand the main net. So when you're running this, you're gonna be using real money because rental is not free, okay? It uses, they have their own, the, the SAR Foundation has their own cryptocurrency called, you know, SAR, SAR coin, SC, you understand, as the symbol. So for you to host or for you to uh, rent a rent out a space here, you have to pay some side coin, okay? So that's why it's not free. <laughs> I mean, nobody provides service for free, right? So that is where we need to stop for this particular place. 